Don't be that guy or girl. Listen, jujitsu is not hard. It's easy, in my opinion at least, but it is complex. There's a lot of obstacles. There's a lot of failures. Um, I've made videos, video. Um, I, I made an episode on, on, on whether failure is important. And, and d listen to that. It, it is critical to your success. Failure is part of your success. But all these obstacle failures and, and the points that we don't succeed all the time and we continuously growing, continuously growing, and then we embracing the grind puts us in the, sometimes in a position of emotional triggers. Um, we get frustrated. We get upset. We get angry. I, I, I remember myself when I was a white belt. I, 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 you know, I, I was not the best training partner. I was always getting upset with things that didn't work for me and somebody tapped me out, somebody caught me, I couldn't sweep somebody. You know, emo emotional roller coaster inside me was quite, quite large. And you know, it, 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 at times I was even expressing it externally. And I think this is the point where we really have to control. We, we are in an environment with other people around us trying to enjoy the jiu-jitsu. So if you ever find yourself in a spot where you're at a tournament, things didn't go according to plan, you are at the academy and you're drilling, things don't go according to plan, act professionally. Don't be that guy. Don't be throwing things, like, don't be throwing your belt across the room or, or, or dropping, you know, F-bombs or, or expressing verbally or even, you know, your body language. Be a good training partner. These, these anger points are not going to get you anywhere, but I think what will get you is when you actually pause for a moment and ask yourself, why the hell did that happen? Why, did it get, why do I get caught in this position over and over and over every single time? Let me talk to my instructors. Let me talk to my higher belts. Let me talk to my peers and try to figure this out. Use this, this emotional trigger as a motivator for you to get better. Everything else, in my opinion, is not acceptable. We shouldn't be. Um, expressing these emotional um, uh, uh, triggers, you know, on the mat. We're here to have fun. And the bottom line is, if we don't have fun, why the hell are you there? And if you get upset so often, so frequently about little things, I don't know, is Jiu-Jitsu really for you? If you're not enjoying it? <sighs> this is a deep one. So remember, Jiu-Jitsu is not hard. It's complex. Everybody can do jiu-jitsu, everybody can try jiu-jitsu, but I can see how jiu-jitsu can be frustrating. I can, fee, I can see how the obstacles ahead of us could put us in uh, points of being upset. Things don't always, always go according to plan. Matter of fact, in jiu-jitsu, I think things don't go according to plan more often than they do. Use those, those failures, use the obstacles, use the struggles to motivate you to get the answers you're seeking and continue, continue training because jujitsu is just too beautiful to quit. And honestly, nothing really comes from quitting besides the fact that you just couldn't get it done. Keep on training. Peace.